morning everybody <clears throat> how are you all doing let's get into today's video So before I get into today's video guys, I just want to remind you, please don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe button if you haven't already, and that notification bell reminds you every time I upload. Let's get those views in and let's get some more subscribers. Let's get to, I don't know, let's, I'm, I'm, I wish it's wishful thinking, but let's try and get to 5,000 by the end of August. Let's see. That's a challenge. Anyway, I've also put in the description box below is my Amazon wish list. I will not be opening a PO box because it's three it's very expensive. But this treat from there for my furry babies and myself. And that doesn't mean you have to, it's just there because I've been getting a lot of emails asking for my address, and that's one thing I will not do is give out my personal details. So if you want to go and have a look, you're free to do so. Anyway, so today's video is a different one. Um, I'm not talking about fibro, I'm not talking about mental health or my fairy babies. You'll see a lot of my fairy babies in my YouTube shorts. Um, so if you want to go over there and have a look, you're free to do so. Anyway, so today I've been, this is, I should have done it above it, but I've been hooked on this because I'm very interested in it. Now, it was a worldwide, um, global thing, um, and there was a documentary of it, sorry, my mouth's gone dry, of this person on Netflix about what had happened to her and what she did to her mother. Um, and I'm talking about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, I think she's called. Um, I watched it on Netflix. It was a true story, and I'm like, oh, my God. Now, I know everyone's got their own views of what they think and that she, one minute, and one, she did what she did because of the way her mum treated her, two, her mother deserved it, three, she doesn't, didn't deserve to go to jail. Now, yeah, you get all those mixed up thoughts, no, and you kind of know what, why she did it. But also, she deserves to go to jail for her crime. So, what I'm talking about right now... Sorry. Fuck it up. Don't care. I'm watching the documentary that... Uh, I think it's an eight... Is it an eight series? It's Gypsy Rose Life After Lockup. Now, I've been watching it for the past... I think I'm on the fourth one. And... She's... Getting to that stage where she, I don't know how long she's been out of the prison for because I'm in the UK, I'm British, and Gypsy Rose is American, I think. Is she? Yeah. Anyway, so what I can't pronounce what her mother did to her because it's a very long name and I struggle with saying certain words. So when Gypsy Rose was a young child, her mother pretended that there were things wrong with her to get certain things like a free house i think it was or free holidays etc etc i don't i've watched it but i can't remember but there is a name for it and also that doesn't give you the right if someone treats you really badly like that then there's other ways of getting that person you know done like the police or I don't know how she's got away with it for so long, pretending there's something wrong with her daughter when there wasn't. No wonder she went a bit and wanted to murder her own mother. Um, and it's understandable why she did that. But And and then on the other aspect, well, you shouldn't have done it. You should have got some professional help. Um, can you imagine being in her shoes of being having stuck in a wheelchair, being tied to the bed so she didn't move and... The abuse that she endured, can you, and now I'm watching this Gypsy Rose after lockup. Can you imagine? I'm going back into into 
real life type of thing. You've been locked up for so how long was she locked up for? I can't remember. Anyway, and having to live and she, like I'm just watching it. I'm on adverts at minute, so I have put it on pause to discuss this. Um, and she's talking about a mum being uh, an order and how the current husband Ryan, I think it's. I think I've seen it on TikTok as well that these two aren't together anymore. She's off with that ex of hers, Ken. Um, and I think, before I get into that, what we're saying. Brain fog. <laughs> okay, I don't know what I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, uh, if I remember, I'll come back to that. But um, the stepmother, I think she's weird. Now, who in the right mind? Tells us, tells Gypsy, right? Obviously, she's 30, but she's obviously still got a younger mind because she's been in jail for the majority of her uh, adulthood. Um, but she's happily married with this lad, Kate Ryan. I'm a bit mixed up. Um, why would you interfere with that and tell her, uh, say something to them so it messes it up? And she's like, Oh, I don't care if. They're falling out, then I'm going to still keep in contact. And she's going to have a way to tell Gypsy all that I still love her and regrets her decisions, blah, blah, blah. Who does that? You, you're a stepmom, you tell her, look, you tell this guy, no, she's happily married, let her get on with it. No, now it's put that in her, Gypsy Rose's head that, oh, she's um, still, he still loves you and he still wants to be with you, blah, blah, blah. Things are different. You tell this fella to do one, wouldn't you? Excuse the dog barking in the background. You tell him to do one, you don't tell her every detail. Now it's put it in Gypsy's mind. And then obviously this Ryan guy that she's married to, he seems what I've seen so far when they're in the car is constantly looking at her phone and he looks a bit controlling and yeah, I don't want to be in that marriage. I know, I think that, oh, the Odin bit. <laughs> and she's moved in, sorry, I did say I forgot about it and now I've remembered. So she's moved in with Ryan now, they've been married for some time, haven't they? And she's getting to know him and obviously those little bits of, uh, that get on people's nerves and Odin is one of them because her mum was an order. Um, she had to, I think she said Ryan's exactly the same, so she's, Opened his um, closet out, thrown everything out and reorganised it. Wish I were like, oh, I don't have the energy. One second. Sorry, I just have to go and check the dog because I um, cause he was sure barking like a crazy hyena. <laughs> so, so far I've watched, I think this is the fourth one. I'm not sure how long she has been out, the, out of prison for because obviously this is pre-recorded, I think. So it must be some time. But the one I'm watching is where a stepmother is interfering again and a dad, Gypsy's dad has told his mother, a stepmom to pack it in and leave it. If there's something to, if uh, Gypsy's and Ryan's marriage splits up, or splits up, or get whatever, then she is blaming her. But yeah, sorry I'm out of breath as well because I've just had to get up and go and the dog out. Whew. So what's your, uh, what is your views about Gypsy Rose and do you think she deserved to go to jail? Do you think she deserved what she, you know, did, did she, bleh, bleh, let's sort of talk again. Did the mother deserve what she, they did to her? The list goes on. Let me know in the comments below guys what you think and yeah. I'll probably do a bottom in depth video. This one was just a one that just popped in made right quickly. I have seen him over on TikTok where Ryan is all his someone were like, Why do you keep going about going on about gypsies? You're no longer with her, you're obsessed, blah blah blah. What's your views? Have you seen it over on TikTok? I tried to go and find that exact video but couldn't find it. Sorry. <laughs> that burnt. Don't just mean me, bro. Um, so let me know in the comments below your views and take on um, take of it. Like I said, TikTok there's a lot on there, but like I said, I couldn't find the video that 
he, I don't know, I think it were live. So I'm not sure if your live videos get kept or not on TikTok. Because, I mean, I do have TikTok myself. But I don't, um, no, I don't have the thingy opportunity. Up a thingy, uh, opportunity to do lives because I don't have that many followers and the reason is I'm never really on it I just go and flick through it you know what I mean see if it's all interesting and sometimes I do talk about my fibro and my mental health and life in general on there uh, it's not very often I do have Instagram as well so and again I don't really go on there I just post now and again and yeah, I have Facebook, but that's majority of me doing reels, um, videos of my fairy babies of whatever I feel like putting up and only way I can contact my family. Anyway, guys, let me know your point of views in the comments below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. I'm going to go now, quick video, and I will do an in-depth one when I've done a little bit more research about it. Like I said, I'm just in the middle of watching it and I thought, oh, I need to talk about that right now. And it distracts me from my little thoughts in my head. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't already. And that subscribe button and that notification bell. It does help with my health rhythm. And I will check in on you later. See you later, guys.